Welcome back to the Land of Extreme ECW 2K24. My GM mode, I am your host, Attack Slug. And after a pretty successful PLE pay per view of Hell in the Cell, another week here of this show, and Austin Theory wants an appearance in front of his hometown crowd here in Atlanta, GA. Indeed, a town down. Noted. Dom and Cedric get a pop boost until week 10, not in a tag match. But they're both cruiserweights, so why? I mean, hey, triple threat with Dijak, but not today. We'll see. But in progress, I still promised Seth that he'd partner with Joaquin Wilde in a tag match within the next couple episodes here. And I did not know when I traded for the power of Tazawa that his deal ends at week 9. We're currently on week Six. Concerning, but again, he was a pretty cheap ad there for that trade, so whatever. More importantly, I have a new challenger for the TV title. Now, in my progress for my seasonal challenges, I got one more promise to fulfill here. Uh, I have not done any of these with these, so I probably should do one here or there. I've done one tag team callout. I've had eight power cards used, I've done four tag team matches, I've hired four of five, and I've booked 12 or more on three occasions, and hey, hopefully I'll get all five of these in the next week or so, but we'll see. But in the meanwhile, we have a brand new set of feuds to build, so the one important thing here at the start before I book anything is to see how the roster looks after pay-per-view. Notably, the stamina. Who has the worst stamina? Our champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And Cedric, not that far behind. Dirty Dom at 48, and then Tazawa is new here with 48. Anderson, okay, these guys, anyone over 50, I can deal with, but yeah. So I need now to book Gunta and Rollins, but it's gonna have to start with a call out pro because of course, I don't work Rollins at 37 stamina. That would be silly. Now, otherwise, in my happiness quotient, we only have an annoyed Dirty Dom. But what is cool is that I chose that shakeup card that gave all of my cruiserweights, which is Cedric, which is Dom, and which is Joaquin Wild, a five on promo. So that's going to help me out tremendously. Let's see if we can't book ourselves a show. The call out from the ring general to Seth Rollins, hopefully igniting a world title rivalry. But we'll see. Which means I do want indeed to work Cedric with 45 stamina, non-title, against his brand new challenger in Dijak. Cruiser versus Giant, face versus heel, that all works out. And they are both a perfect ton in their ring experience. We do have a brand new tag team feud happening and a way to book Austin Theory on this card. It will be the Blizz Cliz, the Good Brothers versus Kaiser and his brand new, no, not coffee, and his brand new tag team partner. And that will be Austin Theory. Again, non-title because of stamina concerns. What does that leave us with? Well. We do have Akira Tozawa, who is a fighter, and Mark Coffey, who is a bruiser. So, of course, that is your next up on that rivalry. So, Coffey and Tozawa getting into it here on the show. Heel face, fighter, bruiser. That all works out phenomenally. But then what do you do with the remaining superstars? Because we need some promos here. We need one more match. And considering the stamina, it's going to be Dirty Dom cutting a charity promo for the show. We do want him to get some wins here. Hopefully get, that'll get him out of his bad attitude, which means we should work Joaquin versus a giant jobber again and again and again. Because we have a little bit of cash here from that trade deal, let's go to established stars. We want a dude. We want a heel. And we want a giant. What do we get for five grand and searching for those abilities? Anybody? Okay. It's still 
the red flame, and it's still cash suplex, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's take Mr. Red Flame here for one week and have him fight and do that dang thing. Whatever. So a waste of money, but sure. So Joaquin Wilde versus the Red Flame. Lock that one in. And we do have our lone lady here. Now, here's what I'm wondering. If I don't book her in a match, because obviously I can't, because we traded away Becky Lynch, will Triple H say, hey, you gotta have uh, the girls uh, in the matchups? Because uh? that I don't know. I really don't know. But what I will do, so just in case, let's give her a self-promo and increase her pop, maybe, perhaps, with a two-on promo, which is not great, but sure. It locks in our card, and we have over 12, so we're good there. Now, with the budget being 160, and we have two assets, I do not want to buy the Wrestling Center just yet. Like, I could. I could actually technically afford to do so, sort of, kind of. But no, I'm going to hold off on that thing. And so over in the power card, we have some things I don't really need to buy at the moment. I already have the Rehab 3 card. What did the game want? Oh, okay, I've done that with the game, and that will get me a Get Schooled power card. So sure, we can use that. But in logistics, I can actually afford to get something for 50 grand here. So I guess we'll get in our fog effects. For 50k and two assets, so fans gain 500, show quality 8%. But what is the other one here? Local signage is, um, email campaign is cash. Do I want the fans or do I want the money? Let's go with the money. So email campaign, 50k, two assets, purchased, down to 109k, and let's lock in this episode of EC. Freaking double ya. And hopefully it will start enough new rivalries. Confirm the booking. I do at least want for the thumbnail, Yonder Blizz Cliz, the OC, the Good Brothers, because we need a thumbnail for the episode on a fine Monday they have not done yet or used yet. So sure, why not bring out our ECW Tag Team Champions and whatnot. It's just too sweet! There we go. Alright, now then. And yes, here comes your hometown favorite, Austin Theory, in a tag team match opening the show. It's fine. Get those fans to pop. Do that thing. Thank you much. But also, not gonna sit here and watch this, so quit and simulate and hope for the best. Winners, the OC, two stars, but more importantly, new rivalry. Got that going. For me, Blair gets negative one on her promo skills. Joaquin and the Red Flame, I think a star and a half. If that. Joaquin Wild with the win, it was a star and a half. And new, yeah, who cares. Meanwhile, Dom Dom, good charity, 4.5k on that with his five on a promo skill. The mid card, Tazawa and Coffee, hoping for the best. We'll see. The power. He's nasty. Two stars and no rivalry. Unfortunate. The call out, please. Yes. Excellent from Gonta. And a level zero, level one on that. And your main event. The brandy new TV champion versus the incoming Dijak who just got here to ECW. Will he get the win? Yes, he will. Making a statement. Three and a half stars. Hell yes. So most of what I wanted worked out. Now, over on Monday Night Raw, Elton Prince, one half of your tag champs, versus Tony D'Angelo in a standard, regular matchup. Elton gets the win. It was two and a half. Charity from Indy did better than Dominic with a lower promo skill. What? Priest and Otis, the other half of your tag team champions. It is Damian Priest with the win. The Archer, two and a half stars, new rivalry. The call out Tiffy and Indy, it was okay. Mid card triple threat. Valhalla, Mia Yim, Zoe Stark with a Bailey run in. So plenty of ladies here for Raw and Valhalla. 
gets the win. It was three stars and no anything in terms of rivalries. Carmella gets okay, plus one. And our truth your world champion versus Grayson Waller in the main event of the evening on Raw. It is indeed the Aussie icon. It grows level two, level three, for a three star matchup. And then, Uncle Eric, what do we got here? Chad Gable versus Wolfgang opens the show. Shoosh, please. Wolfgang gets the win. It was two stars mediocre. Charity from Scripps does not a good as Dom, but still. He's in there. Extreme Rules. Christina Fiore versus JC Jane. JC has 95 stamina, so she'll be fine working in Extreme Rules. Matchup. Not a worry in the world. To lose to a jobber, one star, it was dull. The call out Cora Jade versus Fallon Henley, three to four. Josh Briggs and Kit Wilson in a standard matchup. It is indeed Josh Briggs. And it was two stars mediocre. Becky Lynch does a good promo here on her new brand of WCW. And your main event for the WCW world title. Brutus Creed, a champion defending against Shinsuke Nakamura, who is your US champion. And it is Nakamura two belts. Four stars amazing. Good for him. And so I get good booking for my show. Good for Raw, and good for WCW. But the results, let's see here, 39,166. We made almost 60, and according to this commenter, Theory and Kaiser have no chemistry as a tag team. If I did 39, Raw did 45, and Raw made 53. Raw started strong, and ended strong, I liked it. And W. C. W. did 34. So that's good for me. And they made 49. Get schooled on my power card. Contract negotiation on my power card. And Paul Heyman still on top of the ratings. With just about a 19,000 lead over Easy e Raleigh, North Kakalaki. And Triple H has a warning about stamina. Don't worry, he can rest on the show with a call-out promo on this week. But Cedric wants to work a promo, so sure, you can regain six whole stamina and do a call-out to Dijak because, as a cruiser rate, you have a five on promo, so sure thing. Not a problem. Meanwhile, the machine gun, the G1 finalist, wants to run a main event match the fans are excited, and sure, next time our tag teams can work the main event. Carl, perfect. Now I did promise Seth Rollins. So that tag team business is going to have to be the OC versus Seth and Joaquin in a match. That'll be, look man, it is what it is. We're currently in the lead, and I'm going to hopefully keep that lead if I can, but we shall see at the end of... Oh, look at that. Two challenges complete. So... We've done our five promises. We're good there. And we've done our higher five superstars. We're good there. So I can cross this off on my sheet here and then focus on booking the five shows for number three and focus on the power cards, if I can get any more of those. Five more tag team matches. So that's not a problem, I don't think. We'll see. But I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos right here. I'll see you next time on this channel. And I'm out.